this is um C Minecraft here or um Carlos and I will be teaching you how to make a simple regular based Minecraft server. So first go open up any browser you like and um go to minecraft.net. Once you're here you you'll have to um log in. I'll, uh, um I might be going a little faster than this, so I'll slow down. Oh um sorry about that. Uh Anyways, now that you do, you will have to, wait, no, you will have to go download multiplayer server, multiplayer beta server software, For, and you will have to download the Minecraft server underscore server dot exe, and it'll save, and then you just go to that folder and drag it onto your desktop. What I would do is create a new folder on your desktop or wherever you would like to put the folder and, and name it, I don't know, um, my crash server. Yeah. And then you drag this in. And then, once you do that, you will have to open it. Just open it. And as you see, it'll start, um, preparing the spawn area and the world and everything. So you failed to load the ban list, the load IP ban, and all that stuff. Now, and you'll see it's all made over here. For you to connect, all you have to do is open up Minecraft. Okay, uh. Still doesn't, like, just want to log in. Okay, let's try that later. Let's just go over the basics. Um, <laughs> yeah. So what you do, like here are the ops, our operators, server, log. Oh yeah, server properties. Um, there's hell world. Um, I wouldn't recommend this as it screws up and it's not fully functional on the multiplayer. There's a uh, spawn monsters, which is true. Online mode, which is just don't leave, just don't touch that. Spawn animals, which is like pigs and like animals that don't kill you. Then there's max players, how many players you would like. So you have leave server IP alone. That doesn't really do anything like leave it. And PvP, I normally like to turn PvP, PvP off. And I save. Wonder if Minecraft is working now. Just log in. There we go, we're in. No game. I'll just put that full screen. Multiplayer. To connect, you'll have to write in localhost or 127.0.0.1 or, I'm not sure this works here, but 0.0.0.0, which is basically your default IP address. But for now, I just use the localhost and I connect. And here we are. We are at a spa our spawn port point. Which is um protected. That's about it. Yep, there we go. You have made your first Minecraft server. T to talk. La 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 la. You know, just a basic Minecraft server. Nothing else to it. Just that's it. And now boom here are the things to it. Okay. Now these are the options and commands you can do. As you see, there are ops. Ops are operators which um control the server. You can op people by going to here. For example, op Batista Man one two three, and I'm 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 an op. I'm an op. You can do it while they're logged in. It doesn't matter. Just you can also do it all of these commands uh while you're logged in the server itself. Just now it doesn't want to log in. What you can do is also deop Batista Man. Oh, there we go. Never mind. What you can do is um do slash as a command, and then deop. Since you're not, we can use these. Batista Man. Batista Man. One, two, three. I'm not an op. I can't do certain commands, such as for example, you type 
help to see all these commands. Can't do any of these. For example, I'm starting to kick myself. Kick. The test command one two three. Doesn't work. Nothing. But if you do it here, which is the default, you put in kick the test command one two three. It works. So this is basically. So if you got so you have your op zombie and then they start screwing everything. They don't. They, you have um, a Minecraft server console and you can do whatever the hell you want. And they're thinking, aha, I, 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 peed, I uh, banned them. Now, there's um, help, which gives you this. There's kick. There's a ban, just for a normal ban. There's a pardon, to pardon somebody's ban. There's ban IP, which bans your IP. So you, but they can still connect with the account, but on a different. On, the, on a different IP only. There's part of an IP. Part of the band IP. There's op and deop. There's TP. TP and then player one and then player two name. And yeah, teleport somebody to number to somebody else. There's give player and then the ID and how much. Maximum of 64. Tell and then a player and a message which sends another player a private message. There's stop, which stops the server safe safely. The best way to stop the server is that. Save all for the server wide. I don't really um mess with these. Oh yeah, say you can do it inside the server once again. For example, once I log in, I'm gonna say say potatoes. And you say here say are oh, yummy yummy. Did I do that right? Okay, this just proves it. <laughs> I've never really tried to do that from here. So, say, are yummy. See, that's it. You can't, I just noticed you can't really do the say command. But oh well. And yep. Hey, look. Pumpkins. It's cool. Anyways. Yep, that's about everything you need to know for a basic server. I will get into the basics of um, you know, IP stuff. This is only this would only work properly if you don't have a router. If you have a router, then there's more um things you'll have to do to make this work. Now let's stop the server gracefully. But stop. You can also do it if you're an op in the game. Stop. That saves chunks. Just get out of that. And yep. That's about it. Just for a basic non plugin wraps server. And uh, I guess I'll see you in um, the next part of this, which will teach you how to set up IP address and all that stuff if you have a if you have a router. If you don't, this should work for other people. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um t for people to connect, you will need a, you will need your um your external IP. You can go to many, many websites such as what is my IP dot org. Just taking a while to load. Okay, maybe my IP dot com. There we go. That's easy. Um, over right here, and then there is IP chicken dot com. There's also many other websites basically, which gives you your external IP address. And yep, that's about it. I will see you next time in the next part of this video. And a few other parts after that to teach you a few more options and things you can do. And that is about it. I will see you guys next time, I guess. If you watch the next videos, if, if you don't have a router, you're probably not going to watch it because you won't need it. But you might watch the ones after. Because there's some useful stuff. Okay, enough talking. That's about it, and goodbye.